Hello Cancer, it's Lisa with Heart of Inspiration here for your June 2019 general reading. Now, this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising, okay? It's a general reading, guys. If the shoe don't fit, don't try to keep shoving it on, okay, boo? Just check the <laughs> check your um, moon and your rising sign. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here. I really appreciate it. We are having a May subscriber giveaway, and depending upon when you're watching this, we'll be having a June one as well. But as of right now, if you're watching this in the month of May, if you're a, if you are or not if you're a subscriber, um, just comment on this video and like it, and you'll get entered into the giveaway. If you are not a subscriber, hit that subscriber button and hit that bell so you know when I put up brand new content. All right, so we're gonna review this June um, reading here, um, and let's see what we've got for my Cancerians. June, this Gemini season is interesting. We have a lot of planetary transits that are kind of uh, stirring the pot, if you will, especially for us Cancers with Mars and Cancer right now with um, Jupiter square Neptune, uh, Jupiter in retrograde square Neptune with Cap with uh, Saturn in retrograde in Capricorn. And then we have Pluto hanging out, just kind of being interesting with everything else as well. So we have a lot of planetary shifts going on. Um, and this is a season for communication. And I really believe this is a season uh, for us in general, in the collective, to honestly take a look at all of our beliefs and uh, make some decisions, like finally make a decision and move forward. And I think this is going to come out in our reading, Cancer. So um, coming into the month, we do have the Two of Crystals, okay? So really the universe is trying to get us to balance. Source is trying to get us to balance. I do want to acknowledge what's on the bottom of the deck. With the Ten of Swords overall energy, we're coming out of a time, Cancer, where, you know, we've been stabbed in the back, lied to, cheated on, rolled over, and everything else. But we're coming out of that time. So you can put your claws down. You can come out of your shell now. It's okay. Definitely for us, it's time for us to live our loving, giving, intuitive, empathic, healing lives. And really love on ourselves, first and foremost. Our ship is most definitely coming in. And with the moon then here, um, really uh, paying very, very close attention to our intuition, to the higher wisdoms. Um, and that is where we are going to find Six of Wands victory. So that is all at the bottom of the deck. I am using the Star Child Tarot as well. Now let's get back to the reading. Two Crystals is what's coming in. It, it's time for us to get balanced. Uh, I feel like Cancer, especially coming out of Taurus season, we've been a tad bit weighed down, perhaps a little bit in our feels about a lot of things. Um, so it's time for us to kind of come back to a little bit of that logic and, and let's let's kind of get grounded and not just like mm, shooting off at the mouth, okay? We've undergone some serious change with the tower and it's coming. Like the, the beginning of the change has already happened. The things that we have foundationally believed and foundationally found comfort in, uh, those ideas and those mores and those thought processes are going to have to go to the side. And it's time for us with the Eight of Pentacles. We are going to really feel, coming into June here, the energy of, man, we're going to buckle down and get to work. That is really that overall. There's a lot of Earth energy here, um, which sometimes can make us a little bit of mud. But... In this case, we need to be a little muddy right now and a little less flowing. Let's take our ideas and actually put them into practice. Um, we have the magician. That's the energy that we're bringing to the table. We know good and gosh darn well we can make anything happen. Okay? All right? We can make anything happen. So let's go on. You know, we can turn a nickel into a quarter. Um, we can turn lemon into a lemonade. So let's get it on. Let's get it going. We see much brighter days, and actually our energy is really on the major upswing coming into right before our season. Our energy with the sun is on an upswing. We just know everything we touch turns to gold. So let's get to touching. 
Okay, and then uh, with the Five of Wands, it is going to be a little bit conflicting within us because there are some there are some things, some people, some ideas that we've been purging, and purging is not a very fun time for us, okay? Purging is just not a very fun time for us, unfortunately. It's just not good, and, and it's okay, all right? But that's what's going on, but we're also feeling very celebratory with the Three of Cups, even though we've been purging, even though it's uncomfortable. And I venture to say that Five of Wands is the residual energy from Mars being in Cancer. So please, Cancerians, shall we watch our mouths? Our tongues can be a tad bit, shall we say, uh, lethal, okay? So please, just think a minute. I know that you've been holding on to a whole lot of stuff that you've been like, I've been wanting to tell this person off for about five months, maybe 11 months since the last time Mars was in Cancer, okay, with, with this amount of energy. But with everything else that's going on planetarily, um, and do look for my planetary discussions, my my uh, astrological and uh, uh, energetic discussions about the moon phases and other planetary transits. Um, it is, it's, it, it we're, we're on edge. And we're really ready to bicker, 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 pick, 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 okay? So, I apologize. So be very cautious of that. But understand that on the other side of it, it's really, I mean, all is good. You know, don't worry, be happy, okay? Um, what could potentially be a bit of a problem for us is the Five of Crystals energy. And what's going to help us come through that is the Two of Swords. Let me tell you how I'm reading that Five of Crystals energy. Let me put this up here. Okay. That Five of Crystals is like the Five of Pentacles, yes? Uh, we are in the mode of can't nobody else do it but us. Now, for some of us, that might actually be true. But we feel like nobody is understanding our dream and our vision, right? And potentially the people that are the closest to us with the two of cups it feels like either you've been trying to have a relationship with someone if this is a romantic right you've been trying to have a relationship with someone you want to share your hopes your dreams your desires you want them to buy into your vision just like you have bought into the vision right this is a potential soulmate or an existing soulmate and they're not getting it and you're feeling out in the cold guess what okay your vision is not necessarily theirs. Everybody else, Cancer, doesn't have to understand where we want to go. We we are naturally wanting to bring people with, right? We're home. We're all about that. We're all about group and family and relationships. Sometimes we can't take them with us. And sometimes we can go and they can come along, but they don't have to be so wrapped up in it that they live and breathe it as well. With the Seven of Wands, you're probably going to get begin to feel um, on guard. You're going to want to retreat back into your shell because nobody understands. Okay? But understand here, and this could be a new love, a new relationship. If you allow yourself to be that far on guard, though, you're going to block your blessing. And that's why this Two of Swords is here. At the end of the day, Cancer, are you going to decide to live your life to let go of the thoughts and the programs of the past and finally walk into your purpose? And walk into it boldly. Remember, we've got the magician here. We've got the sun energy here, a celebratory energy, the five of wands. We're ready to fight for exactly what it is we want. So why are you so willing then, if someone doesn't um, completely come alongside of you, to then be willing to walk away from it? Uh, you have to let go, Cancer, of the of the past this make the decision with that three of swords to let go of past hurts and disappointments let go of past hurts and disappointments within yourself let go of past hurts and disappointments with yourself right and with others this is a new day let go of past disappointments and hurts 
as a result of certain teaching and programming and whatnot that you were given as a child or as a teenager or even as an adult. Let go of all that. You have to let it go in order to move forward. And you and only you can make the decision that this is my purpose. This is my the best life that I want. This is my most excellent life. And I'm going after it. Only you can make that decision. No one else can make that decision for you. With the Page of Pentacles, decide to go the way that's less traveled. Decide to go the way that is uh, maybe new and, and um, like, oh, I don't, I've never done it this way before. Or I never considered this could be a potential path for me to go on and for me to achieve abundance. I, it, this is a fantastic month. I really believe if we can really grab a hold of, okay, this is the way I thought about doing it in the past, but, ooh, I'm seeing that this might not be right. And being willing to let go of it, we're going to really be in a great place. Oh, over here. Uh, sorry. And with the six, six of Pentacles, um, if we allow that to happen, I see us coming into a balance with abundance. The beauty of it is, isn't it a beautiful moment in time where you all your bills are paid and your food is purchased and everything is fine and you have abundance to help and bless others and you have abundance to go buy that which, which you want to buy and do what you want to do and not even worry about it. That's what that Six of Pentacles looks like. Now the outcome or uh, the advice here, we have the universe, which is the world card, all right? We have the universe, which is the world card. Let me tell you guys something. Um, we have to let the doors close so the new ones can open. And this is really closing the chapter on the old ways and the old thoughts. Oh my goodness, look. And with the high priestess, grabbing a hold of deep wisdom, hearing and listening, your higher self speak, source speak, seek out that deep wisdom. Find yourself at peace with the four swords. These are peaceful thoughts. These are, and I'm going to tell you something. This is also knowledge that only you can have. There, you're going to hear a lot of readings. You're probably going to watch a lot of them. I'm not, I'm not, you know, so vain to think that you're only watching me. You're going to hear a lot of people say a lot of things. Take from it what is true for you and what resonates and leave the rest. Because none of us know everything. Some of us don't go deeper into the wisdom and the, uh, and, and the ancient infinite powers and such, right? The records, um, the truths. However, there's, there's, there's truth within you, Cancer, as with everyone else, that is just imprinted in your own DNA. Find your own records. Reach into your own heart. Find your own peace. Not your mama's peace, not your daddy's peace, not your grandmama's peace, but yours. Find your path. That's really what I'm hearing here. Yep, and keep the faith with the higher font. You could end up with um, someone... Uh, giving you a um, an offer for a commitment. So there could be engagement happening here, could actually be marriage happening here, could be just a commitment happening, you know, not just, but you know, a firm like, you know, will you be mine? We're in a committed relationship happening here in June. That's very, that's very possible. But when I also see this, when I see these three cards come out together, okay, the high priestess, with the four of swords with the higher font that's really telling me please keep the faith and be at peace with all of the inner um wisdom with the intuition with the messages that you're getting with the downloads that you're getting grab it own it love it okay this is all about you this is all about you this isn't about anybody else this is about you cancer grabbing it running with it, owning it, and loving it. So those are the tarot. I'm going to pull one Isis Oracle card for us as well, Cancer. Okay, so just bear with me one moment. We're going to pull one Isis Oracle card for us. 
for the month of June. Let's just grab those. They're over here on my other table. So I've been, um, I just purchased these recently. So, whoa. Well, that was, oh my goodness. Truths Unveiled. What did I just say, Cancer? The Revelation of Isis. Truths Unveiled. Let me read that to us and then I will let you go, okay? Thank you for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. Bear with me one second. Truths Unveiled. How amazing. Okay. There are times when appearances of people, places, and things are truly deceptive. You will sense this when something feels uncomfortable within you, when you notice feelings of anxiety or doubt within you. You may think that there is, I apologize, you may think that there's something wrong with you, but actually you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears to be. It is wise to trust your inner feeling rather than being convinced by outward appearance. There is a situation in your life, especially involving relationships, where something is not as it is being made out to be. To avoid undue suffering later on, Isis guides you to truth and revelation now. Hmm. The revelation of Isis is needed when something or someone is not as it outwardly appears to be. No matter how sacred it may seem, now hear me, because we were just talking about the beliefs, our beliefs, our truths. This is not necessarily a person. So don't always just go to, oh, well, my boyfriend or my girlfriend ain't telling me the truth. Don't go there. Hear what, I, what, 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 we, what we're saying here. Hear what we're saying. Sometimes the things that we have held most dear and most sacred are not actually the best for us. And sometimes they are no longer for us. Sometimes they never were for us. They were put upon us. So hear me. No matter how sacred it may seem, a spiritual person, a family relationship, a shared history, there are times when although it is more painful to admit the truth in the short term, in the long term, it will save you much suffering and feelings of being duped, misled, manipulated, abused, used or abused. It will also make it more likely that the situation or relationship can grow into a healthier expression if possible. You cannot heal what is not revealed. Isis is now with you to help you realize these truths, to admit that you probably already sensed it anyway, and to make wise use of these revelations now. Hear me. Hear me. This is a month for examining all that we believed in and all that we continue to believe in. And it is a month to say, maybe this doesn't fit. I don't care if it came out of my mouth. Maybe it doesn't fit, beloved. Maybe it's not right for you. And that's okay. Maybe you believe something about yourself, Cancer. Maybe you believe something about yourself that now you finally realize wasn't true at all. And now it's time to walk in it. I don't care what your family said about you. What do you say about Okay, Cancer, I'm going to get off my soapbox. We'll be here all day and all night. Now, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. I really do appreciate it. Please leave a comment so you can get entered into my drawing for this particular month's giveaway. Before May, it is a $100 Amazon gift card. I think in, in June, it's probably going to be something else. I don't know. Maybe a video camera or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out in June. Um, and also, please visit heartofinspiration.net. Uh, where you can work with me either through readings or readings, energy healing, and there's so much more information. You can find Shonda Rise, um, the subscription at the very end here. Please go to her channel and subscribe. And also Will Brown's um, Cardomancy. He is an amazing reader as well. Both are just fabulous people, and I support them, and they support me. We're part of the Soul Tribe. Thank you guys so much for being with me. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. Namaste. I hope I catch you on one of my lives. Take care. Bye-bye.